Hello and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Today I will be creating this flower child flower liner. Basically I was inspired by Emma Potts on Instagram. She is just so talented. I follow her and just every single time she uploads something I want to recreate it on my eyes. That's, that's basically it. So today I was inspired by her look with the flowers where she instead of a regular liner created some flowers i did my own spin on it with different colors so it doesn't look identical i hope you enjoyed the tutorial and if you would like to know how to create this look just keep on watching <laughs> And today, like any other day, I did my brows, I primed one of my lids with the P. Louise base and we are ready to start putting makeup on. And again, I know you're probably bored of this but I love this palette, I use this palette all the time. Sometimes you will find that you find a palette of your dreams and for me that's carnival palette so again i'm using carnival palette today you can use james charles morphe palette if you have it you will find these colors in many other palettes as well i'm going to start with a bright yellow so i've loaded my pencil brush with keen the yellow and i'm starting from my inner corner i'm actually putting my brush on my inner corner just like this and with a stamping motion and more product I'm going to build in to my crease and now I'm taking a small fluffy brush slowly blending the edge of that yellow I'm taking a sensual crease brush from Real Techniques and dip it into Sky the perfect blue and this time I'm going to start on my outer corner not completely like in outter corner here slightly above it because I will be cutting my crease there's no point in me putting any product there and I'm just stamping again meeting the yellow and again using that to slowly blend this in so what I'm doing is putting my brush in my crease and wiggling it in a circular motion. You don't have to use the tip. You can use the bristles around the brush. I mean, around the tip. I'm slowly going onto that yellow because I do want to make a green in the middle. Going back to my pencil brush where I had the yellow. just to add some onto the blue. Very nice, going back to my blue. Going back to the yellow. Okay, I'm now going to take a fluffy brush and blend this blue a little bit more. So it's almost near my brow. I'm also going to slightly wing this out. Again, like I said, I'm going to be cutting my crease so I want this right here and again blendy blendy quite easy quite simple very quick you just need to take your time with packing on the shades and making sure they are nicely blended I'm taking my flat brush and more of the P. Louise base and I'm cutting my crease you want to cut your crease by stamping on the product if you swipe you will collect some of the pigment the medium will change color what i like to do draw a line as if i'm making a liner so i know where to put my cut crease now i'm just filling this in i quite like the muted hue of this not gonna lie because this is still wet and what I'm about to put on next is very pigmented, I don't need to fully blank out my lid. I'm taking the Riviera palette and I'm taking Sales, the white shade, any white shade will do. I'm taking a fluffy brush first, just so I can pack on that white. 
And in the places where I want to be more precise, I'm taking a flat brush. For my next step, I'm going to be using a good old fashioned tape technique or tape trick. Before I do that, I need to clean up that area. And to get that nice and crisp, I usually fold it into like a triangle. And now I'm going to stick on the set of tape. I'm ready to move on to my next step, which is the most exciting part, the flowers. I personally will be using the Rainbow Vault of Jeffree Star Cosmetic Liquid Lipsticks. They are eye safe. I always use them for liners. They are brilliant on the lips and on the eye. And the shade that I'm going to start with is Diva, the pink. I have a dotting tool. I will also be using the very very tip of my 203 bold metals brush if you have a bigger dotting tool for your nails it would be perfect i only have this teensy wincy one let's do it i'm going to dip the end of my brush and i'm making tiny little dots just a couple of them and you need to make them in random areas you want to make about between four and five dots for each flower, obviously. If you don't get them to look like flowers, don't worry, the dots in the middle will make them eventually look like flowers. The next shade I want to be using is Flamethrower. I'm going for like a vibrant flower field. And very closely to the previous ones, I'm making some more dots. The breakfast at Tiffany's. Oh, I love this shade. It's such a pretty shade. I don't think I will be adding a lot of this, but I want some variation. Like I said, I'm not adding a lot because I'm going to add the green called Equality. This is quite a dark green. Basically, the least. So the very small dots, individual dots around the flowers we already made. I'm going to add a little bit, just a smidge, just two or three flowers of the <laughs> Am Royalty, the purple. And my final shade for the flowers themselves is the red, called Red Rum. Oh no! If you're very close to your crease, don't look up. Let these dry because I made the mistake of looking down and some of my lipstick has transferred. I'm now moving on to my dotting tool and Queen Bee the yellow to add a little bit of yellow. I'm going to use this to make some yellow flowers in there and to put the middle bits of the flowers. Oh, or am I? I don't think I am actually. I quite like the fact they're not... They don't have that middle bit, so just adding a little bit of yellow. I'm even going to take that brush for a bigger flower there. Ooh, yes. Okay, I'm going to let this dry, do my other eye off camera, and I will be right back to carry this tutorial on. It looks so pretty. Okay. I'm going to move on to my base. Today I will be using the L'Oreal 24 hour fresh wear foundation. It is still my favorite. To contour today I will be using of course the Revolution concealer in uh, C13.5. I love this stuff. Expert face brush. I am here for this. To mix things up, for my concealer today I will be using Collection Last Imperfection because I've been using the Catrice almost every single time I've filmed. I don't know if I'm going to highlight the centre of my face yet so I'm only going to do my under eyes for now. I probably will. I'm of course very careful near the outside bit of my eye so i don't ruin my look i've got so much product under my eyes that i'm going to just move it onto my chin 
smell a little bit on my nose. This was a bit too much, guys. Do you love me some collection lasting perfection? To set my under eye and my T-zone, I'm going to use Fenty Beauty Setting Powder in Butter. Okay, I just want to contour a tiniest bit, so I'm taking Revolution Pro HD palette and I'm taking the mixture of the two first shades, you could di even dip into the third shade and I'm hitting the back of my cheekbone Ooh, a little bit um, much there I'm also taking the tiniest bit to put on my forehead as well I love using the Carnival palette to blush my face. I'm taking Foolish, such a pretty pink shade, and I'm going to add some blush. Bear in mind these are eyeshadows, so they will be pigmented, so be very careful. For my highlight today, I'm using the Rose Gold Glow from the I Heart Revolution. And am I gonna play with my sponge? Because why not? I took so much on my sponge, I managed to highlight both of my cheeks and um, the center of my nose. Of my nose and my cupid's bum. Okay, I can finally finish the eyes. I'm taking Mooney, of course, to highlight my inner corners. I'm also highlighting my brow bone with this. Actually, I'm going to use my fan brush to do that. I love applying highlight with this fan brush, especially like on my brow bone to finish off the lower lash line. I want to go dark. I want to go purple. What do you think, guys? Let's do it. You only live once. If there is any fallout, I'm sweeping it immediately oh no 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 oh, I had fallout on my nose <sighs> okay this looks a bit cray cray let's blend this in make sure to kind of wisp it up so you can join the top and the bottom lid and just because I can I'm going to put Queen B in my bottom waterline. Question mark. Is that going to look good? I think so. It will open up my eye. And the trick is for this to not be super, super liquidy. Give it like a minute or two. Actually, I'm going to do this eye before I put the liner in my waterline. And that will be enough time for it to not run everywhere. Okay, I've done my eye. This should be ready to be placed on in my waterline. Now it's still quite liquidy and it's going all over in my eye. Like it's stuck to my eyeball. <sighs> Come on, hurry up. To make the yellow extra vibrant, I of course added two layers. So put the liner on, or rather the lipstick on, let it dry for a couple of minutes and add another layer and it will be nice and bright. For my mascara today, I will be using, of course, Revolution Mascara by Revolution. For my falsies, I'm using Sminko and the style is Bambi. And finally, for my lips, I will be using Charlotte Tilbury Super Cindy. Okay you guys, so here is my final flower child, flowery liner, Emma AHP inspired makeup look. Emma Potts is the first Instagram um, influencer that I've seen do this type of makeup. If she's not the original creator, I do apologize, but that, that was she inspired me i hope i inspired you as always i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial from my calculations i will reach a thousand subscribers on my birthday which would be great so if you have enjoyed this video make sure to share it with someone make sure to get as many people to subscribe to my channel as possible that would be great fantastic 
if you don't want to do that that's fine just keep watching my videos because I love seeing how much you enjoy my videos giving me video ideas we always interact in the comments and it's just so so great I need to stop talking about that because it's uh, making me emotional anyway I hope you have enjoyed this video if you did make sure to like make sure to comment and make sure to subscribe thank you so much for watching you are the best I shall see you on the next one.